Hi everyone, it's Angie. I hope you guys are all doing well today. I know I say that every time, but I do hope you guys are all doing well today. And I want to thank you for joining me and being here with me on my channel, Craft NATO. I know I don't say that enough, that that's the name of my channel. So I should probably start saying that more. Anyways, today I have an amazing unbagging from Diamond Art Gift. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, I haven't looked at them yet, but I think it's going to be amazing because I see a chicken. Um, <laughs> and as you guys all know, I am in love with chickens. Uh, I have chickens, I raise chickens, and I love them. They're, they're the best. They're awesome. So let's get right into it and see what we've got from Diamond Art Gift. I have worked with them in the past, and I've been always satisfied with what I have gotten. This is my first diamond painting in this order, and it is amazingly cute. This is too much. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I know, I know, I know someone who's going to love it even more than I do. I had my friend Donna in mind uh, when I ordered this because she's a huge fan of owls. And she, um, I introduced her to diamond painting and she really enjoyed uh, one owl diamond painting that I gave her. And so I'm really excited to let her try this one out. Um, I saw it on the site and I immediately knew I had to have it for her. It's a 30 by 40 round drill kit. It is 20 colors and I love the colors. They're very fall, very, um, very rich colors. It is, there's a lot of color blocking in here, which is, you know, it fine. Um, let's see, the canvas is sufficiently sticky. It is, I, I don't see any problems with that. And the canvas is of a type that is neither too flimsy or too stiff. And you can tell that it flattened out really, really quickly. So it does come with a toolkit. Every diamond art or diamond uh, painting kit that you get should come with a toolkit with a boat of plate of wax and a pen at a minimum. Some of them come with baggies. Some of them come with tweezers, but at minimum you should get those three things. The reason this one doesn't come with baggies is something that I'm seeing more and more from the budget friendly companies and I am here for it is all of these drills come pre-bagged. So there is no kidding up necessary. You are just ready to roll um, with, with your drills. They all come pre-bagged. So I'm gonna show you, this is really interesting. There's not any 310 in this painting and it's not even a dark blue. Your main color, your main background color, color number one is 154. So that's that beautiful deep plum. So is I told you these are just really rich colors. Beautiful, that's just absolutely gorgeous. She's gonna love this. So you've got this beautiful deep plum that's gonna be your main background color. Then we have purple, a darker purple, pink, Elizabeth pink, very light pink, another lavender and purple and then we're going to get into our uh we've got some beige some cranberry a lot of cranberry that's beautiful too i wonder where that's going to go number nine nine is r so that's going to go around the halo of our moon our crescent moon there very pretty that's gonna, so that's gonna be juxtaposed against that 154. That'll be just gorgeous. Uh, orange and another pink. I already said beige. We got a few more pinks ranging from dark to light. And some light sherbet orange and some rose, dusty rose. Then we've got these three colors that are very similar. Um, but beautiful. They're like a dusty burgundy. I like to call things dusty, don't I? Well, that's, that's how I see them. That's how I see them. And those are the 20 colors that make this up. This is going to make a beautiful diamond painting. Um, I, it, if you're into owls, 
if you're into this color scheme, I'd say grab this one because it is, it's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. It's a very nice diamond painting. So that's the first one. Now let's stick on the theme of birds. And now this one came packaged, a lot of them are coming packaged this way recently. Um, not in the bubble wrap, but just um, in this plain uh, plastic, which I'm totally fine with. It's it, the, That bubble wrap doesn't really protect them from being um, bent in shipping anyway, which I think was the intended purpose. And this is another canvas type that is perfect blend of stiffness and softness. It's going to even out, it's going to wear out, wear out. It's going to settle out very nice and flat. So this one is another 30 by 40 centimeter, another round drill kit with 20 colors. So also 20 colors on this one. I'm just going to pull this back and lay it back down and see if we can get that big crease to flatten out a little bit more. If you have trouble getting your diamond paintings to flatten out after shipping, just be patient with them. Um, they're going to need a few days under something heavy. Um, if you are too impatient, you can iron them on a low setting. And I would say maybe put a towel between the iron and the, and the back of the diamond painting. Of course, you'd do it from the back. But I've never done it, so I can't speak from firsthand knowledge. I'm just um, repeating what I've been told. So uh, my friend Sue kind of gave me the lowdown on how to do it. I, I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it someday just to uh, just to see how it works and say that I did. If I ever get one that I absolutely have to work on right away without waiting for it to settle down, um, I'll give it a try. Anyway, this is my rooster. This is exactly what he looks like. Um, his name is Jeff, which is also my husband's name. I had some viewers, uh, some subscribers who named him Jeff. So thank you, you guys <laughs> who suggested Jeff. Uh, it was a great name for him. And this also comes with pre-bag drills. And I've noticed this happening more and more. And I love it. I love it. So this has also a lot of color blocking. Your background is going to be very much, this background here is all one drill color. Now then you do mix it up and shade up, up into the corner to get to that darker blue. Uh, which is going to be pretty, but you're going to be surprised because if this was all white, I got to say I wouldn't be real thrilled with it. Just I, I don't care for diamond paintings with a ton of white in them, but it's not. It's this color, 3756, which is that very, very, very light mint. So that's going to be your background color, and that's going to look great against his dark colors. So I will be here a month of Sundays if I go through every single drill color with you for every single diamond painting. So I'm just going to flip him over and just lay these out and show you what we've got for colors. Um, just as a little bit easier for me and it's a little bit uh, less time consuming for you guys so you don't have to be here forever. But these are the colors that you're going to be working with on this diamond painting. You can tell this is the, just a huge bag of 37.56. But a lot of blues and grays uh, mixed in with some oranges and reds are the predominant colors. Some cranberry and a little bit of brown, a uh, little bit of navy blue. There's, again, no black in this one either. So any of those dark areas that you see are going to be grays and dark blues, which is very representative of at least my rooster, um, his his feathers almost look iridescent um, the ones that are you know the darkest one they are actually they do look blue um, but again for the blues they're using 939 which is so dark that it's almost black but that is the second one that I got from diamond art gift and did I test the stickiness of this canvas I'm not sure if I did or not Sufficiently sticky canvas. I'm not worried about that at all. So I'm just going to grab the next one and see what we've got here. 
This one looks busy. This one looks like there could be a fair amount of confetti in it. Don't know what it is yet. I can't tell. But let's see. Ooh, more pre-bag drills. I don't know if somebody caught on and that's what they're going with um, anymore for budget-friendly canvases for the newer ones, but I love it. Look at that. Tell me that is not adorable. Oh, look at his piercing blue eyes. That is just a beautiful, beautiful diamond painting. Um, mixing in gorgeous flowers with a little bit of wilderness with your fox there. Super pretty. This one has a above average stickiness. Um, is it more sticky than those other two? More sticky. And it's very uh, glittery. The um, sparkly, not glittery, sparkly. The canvas itself is very sparkly. So this one has 24 colors. And yeah, you can guess, you know, we're going to have a lot of blues. But then we've got, I think I'll just leave them in the pack. It might be easier to do this looking through the pack just because they're all so nicely. So we have white, lavender, purple, couple colors of beige, navy blue, brick, couple pinks, brown, a dusty blue, a cranberry, one, two, three, four, five different beautiful colors of blue. Look at how all those all go together to make up those beautiful flowers. I keep saying beautiful, but I, I, I'm at a loss for describing them. And then we have some deep, deep purples, a couple deep purples, some grays, and this bright red. Not bright red, it's a crimson red, a dark crimson red. 150 is the DMC code on that one. So those are your 24 colors. This is really pretty, really pretty. I'm glad that I went for this one. I, you know, I wasn't sure about it because there is a lot of detail in it for a smaller diamond painting, but I think that they did a really good job with the charting on it, and there it is a fair amount of confetti, like I said, which is going to give you that depth and um, give you show you that detail even better than, you know, much better than if it was a lot of color blocking. So yes, this is a, this is a, so far I'm really impressed with these diamond paintings from Diamond Art Gift. Really like them. Okay, let's see what we have next. We're halfway through, so stick with me, kids. Stick with me. Now this one, let's see what we have here. is a dancer in red and she is very red i do not have very many diamond paintings in the this color in you know that are predominantly red um and i thought why not now i'm a little concerned i'm not gonna lie i'm a little concerned about her face, just because her face is so small up there. But I think that it's not intended, I mean, the focus is on her big flowing dress and the woods in the background. Um, I, I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay once it's drilled. I don't think it's going to be very detailed. Oh, in the camera, it looks way, oh, in the camera, it looks awesome. Let me take that back. I retract everything I just said. Because looking at it in my camera, it looks great. Looking at it on the canvas, it's a little bit difficult to see. But on camera, the way you guys are seeing it, it looks really good. It actually looks really, really good for a 30 by 40. There are 22 colors in this diamond painting. It is also a round diamond painting, and I've got some drills of a type that I have not gotten in quite some time. So it's been a long, hot minute since I got drills that were packaged like this. I think we're all familiar with them. These are the drills that come in these little teeny packs that are, what, like 100 in a pack? 
maybe 200 in a pack. Um, and I got to tell you, they're not my favorite drill types to get, but I will deal with it, especially for something this pretty. Uh, 817 is one of our biggest colors, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous color red. Then we do have quite a bit of 666 also, which is, you know, the classic red. Then we've got some 720 orange. And I think that's what attracted me about this painting is that it's, you know, reds and oranges together. So then another orange, another orange, another orange. So imagine those oranges coming together, those oranges and reds coming together to make that dress. Pretty, very pretty. Then we've got some 814, which everyone knows is my favorite DMC. Some rust color, some caramel, beige, light mustard, a few colors of gray, 3864, some browns, and some black. And those are the 22 colors that make this up. And I, it's so pretty. I am really impressed with all of these diamond paintings that I've gotten so far today. Um, I really like them a lot. Uh, every single one. If I will pick a favorite at the end. So at the end of the video, we'll we'll pick a favorite. But I'm going to be hard pressed to pick a favorite because I really like them all so far. So let's move along and see what else we've got. We've got a couple more to look at. couple more to look at. I'm going to leave her where we can keep our eye on her because she's beautiful. Well, you can barely keep your eye on her, but she's gorgeous. All right, now we are going to jump color palettes to the complete other end of the spectrum. We're going to go from warm to cool. And if I can get it out of the package... I'll show you. Come on. There we go. All right. This is another 30 by 40. And that is what we have. That's super cool with the dragon. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. 24 colors. Um, the drill field is very clear, very nice and sticky. And let's take a look at our drills. These drills are not pre-bagged, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. But I'm loving the colors. The purples and the greens together, I think, are magnificent. So I love those purples and greens. Anxious to see what color green we've got and what color purple. So we have cranberry, lots of black, dusty rose, army, light army green, pea green really, gray, uh, light lime, purple, off-white, couple colors bright lime butter yellow cream navy beige dark or it's like a brownish green a couple more greens some orange uh, light gray dusty blue mustard yellow two purples and a white I love purple and green together that's gonna look super cool so this will be a fun one to do for well to me it says halloween but you could do it any time of year but in my mind that th this is a halloween diamond painting all right let's move on to our last one for the last one we have Another full drill, 30 by 40. And it's this super cute kitty. 
look at that kitty face. So, so cute. So cute. Now, the kitty face is surrounded by, I thought it was surrounded by swimming fish. Can you see that? Or is it flowers? See, this is a, oh, there are swimming fish and flowers. Okay, okay, all right, that that works, that works. But isn't she cute? And a butterfly on her nose? How adorable is that? That's definitely a fish, right? Yeah, that's a fish swimming by with a butterfly and flowers. I mean, it's nothing that could happen in reality, but it is super cute. I just love the way her face pops out of there like that. 22 colors on this one, also a round drill kit. Oh, I'm not gonna take the drills out of the pack because we can see them right through. We can see them right through. So we've got just ultra natural br colors, browns, oranges, yellows, green, a little bit of blue, some black. Quite a bit of black. It doesn't seem like there's that much black in that painting, but there is quite a bit. But those are the drill colors that go with this. So if I had to choose a favorite out of these six diamond paintings, let's bring these back. I am going, this is going to be tough, but ah, I don't know you guys. I would be hard pressed to choose a favorite between these three. I love these three. I think they're gorgeous. I am gonna surprise everybody and I have to say, I think my favorite one is this one here. I think that she's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So a big thank you to Diamond Art Gift for sending these my way. Um, and I will put the links to all of these canvases in the description tab of the video. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments. And I love hearing from you. Even if I don't always respond right away, I will always respond. Um, but thank you for joining me and I will see you guys all in my next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.